Now we can map the RNA sequence to the reference sequence. Okay. So again, we are going to put everything into a script and then run that script or so execute that script. So we are going to map the reads. So let me just ls again into data slash fastq and then let's ls into data slash ref just to um, look at the files again. Okay, so now we are going to map the RNA sequence to the reference sequence. So I'll create a script. So I'll say nano and I'll say map reads dot sh. That's how it's going to be. Now, before we write the scripts, we need to create a directory. Okay, so this directory is where a star will store the output files. So I will say make the map. Okay, so now I can write the scripts. Okay, I can write the script and then execute it. So I'll say nano map reads.sh. I'll add my shebang line and then I'll start with my star count. So I'll say star and then I'll say dash dash run thread n. That's the number of threads. Eight. I move to the next line. I say dash dash read false in. So we have two files, the foil and the reverse. So I'll say data slash Pascal slash GSM underscore one Pascal Sanga. And then the other one will be what? Data slash Pascal slash GSM underscore two dot Pascal Sanga. We also need to specify the directory uh, for the index. So we say dash dash genome da and that'll be data slash index. We also need to specify the output formats. We will use the BAM format. So I'll say dash dash out some type. That'll be BAM. We also need to sort by coordinates. So I'll say sorted by coordinates and then we also need to give a prefix so the output files what name should be given to them okay the base name so we say out file name prefix so that will be mapped slash i'll use the same base name which is this one here so that's it. So now we have everything we need. So we are going to save the changes and then execute this command. Okay, so again, I'll have to add execution rights. So I'll say ch mod plus x map reads.sh. So now I can run it, but you can do an ls just to um confirm that the script has been created so we have that here now let's execute the script i'll say dot slash map reads dot sh okay so star is now doing the mapping so let's wait for it to complete okay general mapping has been done so let's take a look at the output files Okay, so let's ls into the map directory. So we say ls mapped and we will see the output files. 